Today, uh, I'm going to play some Cloud Post. Uh, I played like three leagues. I owe two drops with different decks. And then I signed up for a Cloud Post League and I won 3 0 currently. So I was like, you know, I'm just going to go with it. I made some changes to it, and which led me to not have 60 cards. Um, so I'm at 62. Uh, those aren't familiar with Cloud Post. Essentially, you make a shitload of mana with your Cloud Post. And there's Tap, and then it's a Colorless for each Locus. Glimmer Posts are also Locus. They gave them life for each Locus you control. And then you copy it with Stage and Vesuva. You get them out quickly with Reclaimer. Uh, and uh, where is it? Crap Rotation in prime time. Um, we have an Eye of Ugin to find Embercool and Ulamog. Um, we're also running One Ring, which is the card's busted. And the sideboard does a lot of anti combo stuff. Typically, you run four Force of Vigors. I switched it up and added a Seeds of Innocence and a Collector Oof to battle Tony's decks and the Affinity deck that I won with. So. Um, that's the long and short of it. Let's get to round one. I would love to play first. Um, yeah, we'll keep. Nothing impressive, but we'll we'll give it a shot. Yeah, we're gonna do this to find a cloud post or a green source. Mm. You think we just want a green? Let's just get a, a green. Green plays uh, a green land in play. Right, this is pretty scary. Club Darth, how are you? You know, I don't know. It looks like that's my we be going up against. Huh? No, no telling yet. Huh? Let's move stage out. I'm, I'm 3 0 in a league um, with it, so I decided just to go with it. So I'm going to just go with my gut. So here we are. Okay. Right. Gonna keep going, land go for now. I really don't want to just run my crop rotation into a force of wall if I don't have to. Ideally, they go for a wasteland. Could be combo. Could be like doomsday, and I should just be, you know, trying to aggro a miracle. But yeah, Tony Murata. Tony Murata. He's a good dude. Into play. Yeah, he would uh, stream on on uh, like the weekend challenges a lot. Hmm. Trying to mess with my mic while we're streaming. I feel like it catches too much, then not enough. This is just like a triumph. All right, cool. All right, so now we know what we're up against, which is good. We know what we're up against. That gives us, you know, something to go on. Oh, it's just four color. Do I want a crop rotation here? No, I don't think so quite yet. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, Sunday. So I think we're just gonna fire the crop rotation off. Okay. Okay. So now we're up to 13 mana. <laughs> so 
Versa control deck with infinite mana. We have a cast trigger on our Ulamog. Uh, feels like a pretty good spot to be in. We do not run Maze of Ith now. There's no Maze of Ith. They, they bend a force of well. Wow. Uh, I mean, well, I guess we'll learn what it's bad against, huh? Guess we'll learn. From from what I recall, it's like, you know, the uh, Doomsday is one of the worst matchups. Uh, let's get rid of their only black source and their only threat. Just playing a Bowmaster? Sure. I might aggressively use a crop rotation here. So now I can Caracas this, or I can get a Yavamaya so I can actually cast my prime time. They probably have another plow, so I think I'm actually just gonna get a Yavamaya here and then uh, cast a once upon a time. Okay, we'll just gain a bunch here. Because if we if we waste the Crocusing and then we get wastelanded, uh, we're miles behind. Where if they waste us here, we could still summon a prime time even through a daze. So uh, they have two white, two green, two blue. So it was only like things like domain for their leyland binding. They're gonna have to look up another one. All right, so I don't think they have force. I think they would have forced my Ulamog, if we're being honest, so. Hopefully they just have like force of negations. Yeah, I mean, so we're just gonna get uh, Eye of Ugin and Tabernacle. And then Bajukabog them. And I, I can even, I can just burn out this uh, Spirit Guide right now as a creature as well. Over binding here. Just an endurance deal. They're not targeting anything. Okay. They're going for an endurance where they have to pay upkeep costs for all three creatures is interesting. Hey, how are you? Thank you for the follow. Annie. Music's loud? No, thank you for telling me. If it's loud, let me know. I'll, uh... Well, actually, I want to leave this one up. I have. Yeah, we won. So we won. Easy peasy. How's that? Is that any better? Um, so we're versing four color. Uh, I typically cut crop rotations, even though they were pretty good there. All right, cool. Oh, you're a post player? Nice, yeah. Just uh, felt like playing it today. 
They're probably on beans. If they're on beans, I do like bringing in some vigors. They hit the binding and the beans, so I think that's like pretty relevant. Carpets are good as well. Um, trim the crop rotations. What else do I? What else do I like to trim? I don't know if they have wasteland. I actually don't like dark depths very much in this match. Uh, I thought I added a second Baseju. Hold on. I swear Moto didn't. No, you know what? I had it here and I just never dragged it. I just traded. Uh... Damn, definitely didn't add it. All right. Thought I added two two Baseju's, but oh well. Um, so we got to cut one more card. Wish I had Tony in chat to tell me what to do. Uh, pit Needle seems... I need to trim a Pit Needle. How many people? Like 70? What do we got? Oh, 50. Awesome. So another 6 rounder. Okay. So we do have a cloud post with a deep that can copy it if we get wastelanded. It's not the best, not the worst. So we'll see. Uh, we have an Emrakul, which is good versus control. We have prime time. Nothing really in the early game, you know, no elf. But I think I'm going to keep it. Considering their best card is wasteland, and we have a way to mitigate it as best as we can, aside from having a uh, pit and needle. We'll just hit our other land drops until uh, it gets wasted or something. Just the surveil land. Surveil lands have been pretty pretty cool in Legacy. You have to say. No wasteland. They are on the four. They got the all four colors active. Let's just let's play a green source. Nothing to play. Interesting. Interesting keep from them. Play this into Ponder. Interesting. Yep. And the ring is a pretty good card to add also. So I'm going to stage my cloud post on upkeep. Cavern off the top one time, huh? Hmm. Do I want to run this into Force of Negation? I don't want to, but I think we probably need to. Hopefully they have to use Force of Will. If they use Force of Negation, it's pretty irritating. If they use Force of Will, I'm fine with it, right? They might have a Leyland Binding. They really tank on a Force... Wow, they tanked on Force of Negation on the One Ring. That's wild. Seemed like it'd be the fastest Force of Negation of your life. Okay. So now we can play Primetime. We can actually Green Sun for Primetime and play pay through a Daze. This can get flustered though. It can get fond again. I think I want to cast the actual prime time. I gotta like dress down plus plow. Could be annoying. I don't really have any good way to punish that.
They have addressed them and decided to, wow, that's awesome for us. That's really cool for us. <laughs> Deal. Two cards left in hand. We've, we're have we grinding them down. Got two forces out of the way. And we have two good threats in our hand. Like, getting this out of their hand before they have a bean in play is also very relevant, right? Like, stopping, the, stopping it from cantripping. They play Mystic. Mystic Sanctuary? Yeah, they should they should run one Mystic Sanctuary, I'd imagine. This looks like a Merc Tide. Where I I played the Caracas to play around days, and that cost me not being able to uh to to bog them. Looks feel pretty silly now. So we just go cloud post, cloud post. I guess we go, let's see, cloud post is three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13. I want to see if I get Ayavugan in cloud post, if I could cast Emrakul next turn. It'd be three, six, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Yeah, it would. So let's get Ayavugan. Cloud post and just cast a bajuka bug targeting them. They're pumping this by one because they cycled. That's kind of funny. Yeah, the turn before I could have used this to pay for it when I didn't I did that for sure. Just like insta played the land. Max regret. They're gonna be left with three cards in hand after the brainstorm. They do need to have an answer for this because I will just attack even if they leave this back to block. And if I get another trigger from this, it's definitely Rapsky. Going on Mets. Even if they waste, yeah, I have the Echoing Deeps to copy it and then just get some triggers, so. I still have this to find something also. Like, they would need, what would they need? They need, like, Leyline Binding plus Wasteland to be, like, to give themselves a shot. All right. We have an Initiative player, huh? What do we want to do versus initiative? So I think we're going to keep initiative is tough. Definitely one of the things I would uh, ban in the format. Fucking mechanic is just awful. Looks like they just play initiative, <laughs> initiative and legacy and dredge and vintage. Just someone who does not enjoy playing games of magic. I do kind of want to lead Glimmer Post Relic. If they go Chalice on one, I can Spirit Guide Crop Rotate the Glimmer Post to get a Yavamaya. Which I don't love. Yeah, I think I...
I do think maybe we have to crop rotate for Yavimaya if it comes to that. It's awkward. See their post board strategy. How many moons? Three mages to the moons. And we have what, three dismembers? So. Okay. So we just bring in Vigors and stuff. To hit their, uh, I guess, Chromoxes and Fables. Wait, how are we sequencing this turn? It's so interesting. We can go Spirit Guide. Crop Rotate for Yavimaya. I think I, 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 hmm. We go Glimmer Post, Crop Rotate, Yavimaya, play that, but I don't have another land to be able to use the mana effectively. I think I'm just going to play a Relic off of Glimmer Post here. In case they kept a Chalice Hand based on my previous finishes. Yeah, we have a my here. That also allows us to cycle this. Okay. Fucking typical, huh? Fucking typical. Hopefully it's an Archon. It's not. They have a Spirit Guide. God tier gamers. They do have an Archon. Can we race this? Hmm, maybe. If they have like Initiative Creature plus Solitude for this, probably not. Oh, it's just a Peacekeeper? To save two damage? Huh, to name my reclaimer, I guess, right? So it's just gonna cost me four to activate? Stingy potato, what's up? They named Thespian's opponent. Thank you so much, opponent. Jeez. So I guess they have no answers, which is, I mean, it's interesting, but it doesn't really affect what I'll be doing. If they have a solitude here, looks like they have a solitude. They do have a solitude. So we're definitely just getting a cloud post here, gonna top deck a glimmer post, and then. Have to glimmer post and get a prime time. One, two, three, four. Definitely just land go. All right, Glimmer Post and Cloud Post still let me cast Prime Time. Oh no, are you fucking serious? 
<laughs> the one fetch that Tony swears we have to play. One, two, three, four, six. Taking eight, an eight ball here, huh? Uh, I really don't need to lose any life. So I guess we'll just get Glimmer Post. Glimmer Post, Glimmer Post. Just really boost our life total. Might be that enchantment, they just didn't want to blink it, they wanted to wait till their turn. Another Archon, alright, that's game. That's game. Mm. Sure. All right, got game one versus initiative. Cool. This number for the majors of the moons, cut the pithing needles. Then we can bring in vigors and seeds of innocence if we really want to. The Jukabog. Think that makes sense. All right, we have, we have, we have the card. <laughs> we have the answer. Tell us on one, please. Deal. So I do think I want to Simeon Spirit Gun. I do want to get a uh, Elvish Reclaimer going here. It's important because if they play Magus of the Moon, you know, I want to have this in play. If they play an initiative creature, uh, Okay. Anointed Peacekeeper. Okay, well, they can name one of these or they can name this. If they don't name my Reclaimer, I'm going to go to town. If they name, you know, so. I guess the move is name Reclaimer and make me dismember. Name Thespian. Wow, they really don't like Thespian stage. Tabernacle is kind of really funny here. <laughs> I'm definitely playing the fucking Tabernacle here. <laughs> Tabernacle is really fucking funny versus H2. Really liking this. Okay, top deck land. Definitely not dismembering this. Oh well, they're attacking me. 
Because they're attacking me. Oh, thank you so much. What is that to my drop in prime? My prime notification is not working then. Because we should have a much cooler notification. But thank you so much for the for the subscription. Let me um Let me double check this real quick. Says alerts. Hmm. Where is this alert? Alerts. Edit alerts. Subscriptions. Prime subscription. Yeah. Why is this not off on? All right. Well, thank you for that. Is it worth dismembering? No, I think I'm going to take three here. Worst draw on the deck. Worst draw on the deck, no problem. Yes. Yes. All right, two oh, two oh, two oh. Uh, now his hand's so close. Like if I mold a six and had this without Ayabugan, I'd probably keep it. So fuck it. Let's let's learn. Let's have a learning moment. Hopefully they're on the same thing. It's gonna be like something else entirely. Okay. This one green mana. Play Tabby. Next turn, if I draw a green source, I'll be able to play Green Sun for one through days. They are going to flip. Oh, the other, I thought it was the bauble trigger was the tabernacle. Okay, so no flip delver is huge. I don't think they have a DRC because they would have played that with the bauble instead of delver, right? The stalker. Okay. Mm -hmm. They 
need a force wool here. They don't have it. They can have a snuff out, which would be pretty irritating. Hopefully they only draw wastelands. They keep drawing lands. The Delver deck with one, two, three, four, five lands. Okay. Of course they have it. God tier gamer. Um, playing this allows me to draw a dark depths. Uh, I mean, they pay for both and have like you know the that like sixth land and then fifteen cards. They have a daze, doesn't really affect me. I'm gonna take six here, that does affect me. They just have, how is it possible? Ow, <laughs> how does like, you go on a tabernacle plan versus Delver and they just have okay, seven lands in play. Seven lands out of, they did not fetch, that's what. Uh. Bolts. All right. Got no decision by Delver. Cool. Uh, four carpet of flowers, please. Uh, their sideboard they run two price of progress also well fuck me dude this person did not want to lose to fucking 12 post that's so crazy um They're going to get to bring in, yeah, that's so sick. So sick how ready they were. Just so typical Delver, huh? See how nutty their hand is. <laughs> so sick.
And wasteland? Is like an endurance or something? Look at this, like, they have, they had five creatures with double bolt. <laughs> like, what the fuck? Holy shit, dude. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, they just have like the third bolt. Oh, man. Like they're like slow rolling price of progress for some reason. Crazy left in double bolt worked out. Top deck wasteland had a really good time for them. I guess they're like waiting because if I play glacial chasm is a way I win. I guess they don't respect glacial chasm. Okay. It depends if they have forced blue card my out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I, can't, I can't beat the, the four threat double removal hand. Crazy, they went after the worst possible land too. <laughs> like it's just showboating that doesn't matter. Okay. Another scam deck, super interesting. Looks like they're just on once upon a time to guarantee that their scam happens more often. <laughs> so. All right. Cool. And I, all right, I, I, miss, I missed on once upon a time in this deck. I, I think I'm gonna fucking scoop. I think I think I'm just like done for the day. Like what? Like, dude. dude. I, I did I really miss on this? Like. 40 cards in my deck hit. 40. 40 cards hit. Chromox. They were not in Chromox before, I don't think. So it looks like they switched. Maybe mono red. They're tanking a long time in the Chrome Mox imprint.
Oh, jeez. Oh wow, they fucked it up too. Oh, they just want to imprint here? Okay. That's an interesting strategy. I'll give them that. Turn to Blood Moon, okay. We're definitely gonna get a Dark Depths and just try to top deck a Besage you. Wow, interesting draws opponent. We'll go to the Cavern. So we want to draw a Green Sun Zenith or a Besage. Besage is the best possible. One of a lot of time. The One Ring is fine. Draw Bajuka Bog also instead. Makes sense. So we'll sack Bog for a forest, I suppose, at this point. Holy shit, dude. My opponents today are just unfucking believable. Like, pairs in the 12 post, double blood moon. All right, now, I, one rings are prime times. Like, fairly reasonable draws. Pith and needle for this, one ring, prime time. The Seiju is nope. This the Seiju is something. Them yeah, not to draw a creature that they can crew with, also. Obviously. Now I can attack for four. Three turn clock. Looking pretty rough. Prime time, one ring. Four <laughs> So many cards I could draw. We missed on a once upon a time and then uh, this happens. Right, we have four, three prime times, four green suns, four one rings. Once upon a time is off the table now. No decision again. <laughs> nice of you to show up. All right, so it looks like it's just mono. Uh, Jukaba, Cavern of Souls, Relic. The pithing and needles for that little shitter are relevant. 
Endurance. Try that. At least we get to go back to building dinosaurs when this is over. I have a dismember and a cloud post in a forest, so end of a sage you <laughs> a lot of the things we want. But yes, people think of dinosaurs for me. I need dinosaurs. Just a chalice one would be pretty okay. Deal, sure. Mm. I mean, it's a, oh man. So I guess I play this and just attack. Especially because they lips it fucking irritating. It's so irritating when they have the Chromox. Doing the Spirit Guide doesn't matter, but like when they have Chromox, it's just so frustrating. Oh my god, stupid fucking motor does not give me a stop. Ugh. Alright. Draw one drop right after they play Chalice. Beautiful. Turn. So if we're just going to block one of these dudes, we'll eat it from uh, the rabble for a turn. Uh, that should win the game, right? Would it say okay? Oh, wait, no, 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 it doesn't win the game. Ah! I was thinking that I ha I would have a, uh... A legendary creature to discount the cost, which obviously is not the case. Can I just pass? Do they have a gone also? They have a dead gone. Holy fuck, dude. 
What are we even doing as a society? This member over here. Damn. So we're just gonna go on defense here. There's, there's maybe I'm supposed to green sun for one even. They always top deck it when they need it. Such a fucking dagger. Yeah, they definitely just top deck this and had the Blood Moon. <laughs> it's so crazy. Double Blood Moon, Dead Gone, Bombardier. It's lethal because it's so sick. It's lethal because a bombardier just gets to throw it at me. They just literally had to top deck every fucking turn and did. Just <laughs> three moon effects and dead gone and broadside. So crazy. So fucking sickening. Just needed them to brick once, one time. I'm trying to think. I, I need one more mana. Oh, one more, one more green mana. I just need a, a green mana or another colorless mana. I could have, like, let them go to combat, double block here. They have to throw mages at me. And then I respond vigor here and then crop rotation or activate this to get glacial chasm. Oh man, so many ways to not lose. 
if I if I I I, sh I could have put Besaidu in play instead of Dark Depths if I knew they were gonna you know draw that. Maybe I'm supposed to assume they're they're gonna not brick. Moons, lands, chromoxes, chalices are all dead. There's no way, right? I'm just trying to make sure. I'm just like, so, you know. Like, what a tilt, man, losing like this. Yeah, because they're going to sack even before blocks. Literally, all I do is vigor, like, bang, bang, crop rotate, <laughs> and, I, and I win. I just get Glacial Chasm. Like, get Glacial Chasm, sack this. This is a 2020 on tap, sack Glacial Chasm, win the game. And I, I know there's not a way for me to. I'm just so disheartened by, by the draws that they had. Last scene on you. Oh, uh, Tony's deck. Well, that's fucked for me. Yeah, I, mean, I really don't have much against that. So. They just go Ancient Tomb, Grim Monolith, you know, Key, whatever. I did add a Collector Roof to the board to let me get yeah, so it looks like that's what it is. Island Pass. <sighs> Moved. Uh, move the main phase two for manifold key. Show and tell, damn. Uh, after the one ring. Okay. Wish I had a collector oof main deck, huh? Just like you make me feel the way you do. I just have oof and vigors and seeds of innocence. So we have a couple things. Now I get to like draw 10 cards. Don't wanna quit cause Clayton just ain't my shtick. Wow. Interesting.
on the on the top. Girl, I just can't live without you. But it just ain't much stick. They run one opal, it's like they always draw the card they need. me yeah all right because i'm 2-2 in the challenge i'm just gonna scoop this is like for top eight or something i'm gonna make them play it out but where is this like the loser bracket so seeds vigor collector okay bog relic oh we have we have three needles do we actually have like a decent amount of stuff uh endurance and I guess it should be Tabernacle, right? I guess Tabernacle. Yeah, probably Tabernacle. Like, they're both not great, but... Mm -hmm. I think we'll keep this go to a crop rotation. Once upon a time, try to find a collector for draw green sun. I probably should have taken Dark Depths, I guess. So they had the Avamaya. I'm thinking, like, 
I'm not going for like the 20 to kill them. So they got it. They used a four star. So now green stones and collector Uther are, are great. Hmm. Yeah, yeah, I guess if I had dark depths, I could have tried to go for the win, right? That's unfortunate. It's uh, pretty unfortunate for me. I mean, that doesn't really matter, right? I'm trying to think, I want to crop rotate for like. I don't really do anything. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're just like dead here. We had a couple draws and whiffs. Pretty sure we're just stone cold dead. Maybe for the better, go to sleep. No attack. People are fucking funny. I was like, just Seeds of Innocence one time. <sighs> make a construct or make mana pass like a ring. One, two, three. Oh my god. Drew a force of will, obviously. Okay. Mm. 